Today we're gonna to talk about my Battle Beaver controller. I'll tell you about when I first bought it, how long it lasted, and my not so good uh, repair experience, I guess you could say. But first, I'm gonna shout myself out because I don't get sponsors and Battle Beaver won't even give me a creator code. So first off, I stream on YouTube, not Twitch. So turn on notifications for live streams on this channel. Recently, I've been in Warzone for some reason. I'm trying to do Monday night streams for sure. Some other nights, random Tuesdays, Wednesdays, usually during the week, random streams will happen. So be sure you got notifications on. If you wanna be more a part of the community, I'm actually a YouTube partner now and you can become a member. It's similar to a Twitch subscription, but it's more benefits and I plan to do like member only live streams and videos and things like that. If you don't wanna pay for a membership, then just join the Discord. We hang out there, do some free overlays and you can shout out your channel and things like that. Uh, follow me on Twitter, I guess. Uh, I think that's it. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Back to this guy. So I bought this like over a year and a half ago. And let's just, I got some notes on my phone. Let's look at some, some dates. So I purchased this March 15th, 2020. And then they offered Beaver Boost, which means you get it faster. And I ordered that on March 17th. Pretty much right after I paid for the boosted build time. Uh, it shipped on the 20th of March and it got to my house on the 24th. So, I mean, one of the biggest complaints about Battle Beaver is build time. But when I bought mine, I lucked out and got it within like 10 days. They have pre-built controllers that you can buy and get quick. If you customize one, it can take a little bit longer, but I think they are offering the boosted build time right now. So build time should be pretty quick. A quick rundown of what I got on my controller before I tell you how long it lasted. I've got smart triggers that click like a mouse. I've got the two, uh, I think it's quiet touch back buttons in the standard position, not high or low. Uh, these are just different colors. They don't click any different. My D-pad is white, my buttons are white. Uh, in my repair process, I got, I think, Z-sticks. I don't think they make a huge difference because I use uh, control freaks anyway. My left stick tension is normal and my right stick is extreme, just means it's heavier and harder to push. And also it makes it a little harder to click it. I think it helps with my aim. I don't know of any pros that use extreme tension, but I really like it. So now how long did it last and what broke? I had it for a little over a year before I had any issues. And the only issues I had was the right back button wouldn't click anymore. It would still register, like I could press it, but it wouldn't give a click. So it was a really weird feel, but I put up with it for a little while. And then the issue that made me get it repaired that I couldn't put up with was this left stick. Uh, I didn't experience stick drift, which is great, but this left stick, you know how sometimes your sprint will stop working, like you can't click. I don't really know how to explain it. I think I could click. I use auto sprint on pretty much every game I play but for some reason it would just do the weird like sprint walk i couldn't i couldn't run right so when that started happening i was like okay i gotta get this fixed so to get these repaired you go to their website you fill out a form you tell them what you need you ship it to them and then during covid your box would be shipped there it would sit for a couple of days i guess to let all the the covid die off of it oh, and then they would open it up they'd send you how much it would cost and then they would repair it and so this is where it gets interesting. I'm a diehard Battle Beaver fan. And I'll still tell you that it's the best controller, but the repair process kinda sucked. And so I've got notes on here. It was towards the end of April of 2021. It was like April 24th or 25th that I shipped my controller to Battle Beaver. I got an email back that they checked it in on May 4th. And you have to pay to ship it there, so I forgot to even make note of that, that that was probably like 50 bucks. I had never shipped something before. So I told him I needed it in a couple of days and she starts telling me like a hundred something dollars. I'm like, okay, I can do slower shipping than that. I'm not paying that much money. So anyway, I paid like 50 or 60 bucks just to get it shipped out there. And then they checked it in on May 4th. I told them that the back button didn't work. I couldn't sprint. So I said, change out, you know, the stick modules. And that's when I decided I had the stock PlayStation sticks. I said, go ahead and change them out for like some cool new ones like pro sticks or Z sticks. And so I think they went with Z sticks. And then I think I already said, fix that back button. And so I got both back buttons replaced. So I guess 
when I say they checked it in on May 4th, that's when I got the email of them saying, here's your invoice. And the price was $42 and the shipping was $15. So all together it was like 57 bucks, like 60 bucks for the repairs, which is kind of steep. But if you think about, you know, if, I mean, I've got like four regular PlayStation controllers laying around for 60 bucks. I'd rather pay 60 bucks to get this thing back to like new condition then go buy another controller for the 10th time, you know? So anyway, here's here's the main issue. Like price, not that bad. I can understand paying for it. Like I said earlier, build times are always an issue with Battle Beaver because they're very popular, but not very big. I think they're fixing this now. I think build times are getting back to normal. You can do the boosted. Anyway, I did this, checked in, paid for it on May 4th. I did not pay for the uh, boosted time. I don't even know if it was offered but the estimated build time or repair time was around eight weeks. So I was like, man, that's gonna suck, but I'll, I'll suck it up, it'll be all right. I got my controller back in my hands at my house August 9th of this year. It took over three months to get my controller back and it was horrible, especially, not, not the controller, the controller wasn't horrible. The experience, I mean, I'm gaming like every day with a non-Battle Beaver, I tried I tried like a Xbox Elite controller. I tried the new like PlayStation back buttons. The main problem is I'm so used to this right stick being heavy that I've got like the power of Thor in my thumb now. And so these like super light sticks on all these other controllers, I was just, bro, I was whiffing. I was whiffing bad. I still haven't recovered. I should probably sue Battle Beaver. They're the reason that I have no earnings on Warzone. Anyway, anyway, that's that's pretty much the one year update. It lasted a really long time. I didn't experience stick drift. I do throw it in a case uh, every night to like protect it from dust. Uh, so it does help, of course, to take care of it and not rage and like throw it. <gasps> but it lasted for over a year. Finally, like, I mean, it was still usable even when I sent it off for repairs but I decided that Sprint issue was something that I just couldn't live with. I still would say Battle Beaver is the best controller. I'd still recommend you buy one. I wanted to be mad at them, but when I got it back, like as soon as it's back in my hands and I'm clicking these buttons and I got my, my stick tension back, it's just like, man, this, this controller is too fire to be mad at them, even though they won't give me a freaking creator code but whatever. So still buy one, they're built good, they last, you can get it repaired. It shouldn't take that long anymore. That was kind of like COVID repair times, I hope. Hopefully it doesn't take three months to get something repaired. Uh, also, like I said, I'm pretty sure you can get the boosted build time if you order a controller right now, or you can buy one of their pre-builds and then you shouldn't have an issue. That thing will get there in like a week or two. Be sure and subscribe to watch me get smacked on Warzone even though I have a fancy controller. I'm still trying. I'm still trying. I'm just gonna keep keep grinding, you know. Appreciate you watching. Love you. See you in the next one. <coughs>